so this video is about my course, my degree course, what I'm studying, what I am trying to be. So my degree course, if you do not already know, I'm studying actuarial science and yeah, I'm hoping to become a fully qualified actuary. It's a whole lot of money in this motherfucker. Basically, um, this course, if you do not already know, a maths course, but like elevated maths course. So you have to really enjoy working with numbers, um, really enjoy problem solving, statistics, a lot of statistics, and a whole bunch of other things. So basically, actuarial science is just, in the most basic of basic terms, it's a risk analysis. So what actuaries do is they see a potential I don't know potential thing and then try and assess what kind of risks may be associated with that thing so you could work in various industries you could work in banking insurance uh, medicine and yeah all sorts of fun cool stuff and I think it's one of those those degrees that will be here for a long time because people really need you know their risks assessed what an actuary does is they assess the risk like um let's say a business has a building right and then it's located in this certain geographical location where earthquakes happen maybe tsunamis and other natural disasters so what an actuary does is they come and then they assess they think they look at the past and see like what has happened in that area how regular these natural disasters are and then they also think of other risks like you know fire flooding and all sorts of other things and then they do all these magical calculations and figure out how much money this business should pay to insure this building so that in case such a disaster happens then they are covered and they can earn a lump sum of money from the insurance company and then they can like you know recover whatever they need to recover so that's just one example of what an actuary can do uh yeah I'm probably not doing such a great job at explaining it, but that's basically what's involved. Some of the courses that I have to take to get through this, I'm at least in first year, I had to do like probability, statistics, linear maths, regular maths, um, economics, and then like there's a bit of programming in some of them. Um, at UCT, we coded in Python. Here, we're doing like R maple and we're probably gonna have to learn to code and other things there's a lot of excel stuff so microsoft excel so yeah there's that so if you really enjoy maths if you really like money finance if you enjoy like economic problems then stats more specifically stats if you like stats then i think this might be the course for you so um with this course you well to become an actuary you don't necessarily have to do this course but to become a fully qualified actuary you have to take a set of you have to take a set of exams that will you know qualify you as an actuary but if you do the course like if you study actuarial science in uni then you can get and you pass with certain grades then you can get exempted from doing some of these exams so i think uh if you don't study actuarial science then you're probably going to have to do like 20 or so exams but if you do study actuarial science from undergrad all the way to masters probably i think you're going to be left with like five four five exams to take until you can become qualified as an actuary i might be wrong so don't quote me on this but yeah so um the more exams you take the more exams you take and pass the more you know qualified you become so the more exams you take the more qualified you become the more money you earn like you have to have like a minimum salary so this is like one of the most i wouldn't say most but like it's a very high paying job high reward i think that's about it in my course it's very challenging like it's not like you have to be prepared i think i'm doing like eight subjects for your first year whereas some people were only doing like four or five modules so you're literally always in school you don't have a lot of free time you do but like you don't because of course it's tough and you need to be like on top of your game but so far so good i wouldn't say it's the easiest 
So, okay, another question I get asked a lot is why did I choose to study this course? And um, I, I just knew that I liked maths, I liked economics, I like like finance, I, I like money pretty much i like money so i did my research so then i came across actuarial science and then i was like oh, okay this seems like my type of thing and I, this is like i don't know why but in form three form four that's when i was really like questioning what am i gonna do with my life because for a long time like primary early high school i was like yeah i'm gonna be a chef <laughs> I, was, I was fully convinced i was gonna be a chef and then after some time it changed i was like okay yeah no maybe law because you know i'd watch I'd watch all those shows, like, yeah, no, I'd watch shows and they convinced me, I was like, yeah, no, maybe law is my thing. Yeah, and then actuarial science came along, learned about that, told my parents, I was like, yeah, no, actuarial science or law. Then my mom's like, yeah, no, I've got friends who are in both those fields, so you could talk to both of them and, like, find out what it's about and see if any of them are, like, piquing your interest. So, yeah, I set up, I set up a meeting with the one who studied actuarial science and yeah we just talked about it and like she really made it seem quite interesting like yeah i was like wow okay this is the one and then like she also mentioned she go she went to the uni that i'm currently going to and i was like okay maybe maybe this might be the uni for me and i was like okay yeah no that sounds cool and then from four we had like a careers fair like they always have careers fairs career fairs and um a representative came from my current uni and she 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 kind of told me about the degree as well and now and like yeah and after that i was settled i was like yeah no this is the uni for me this is where i'm going this is what i'm gonna study and then like from then on i just i just knew i just knew so that is pretty much all i think i have to say about my degree if you have any other questions please feel free to drop them below and i'll be more than happy to answer you and yeah stay tuned please like share subscribe and stay tuned for the next one bye uh-huh yeah uh-huh yeah